Now, we go on to Bill Hybels. Love him. Good guy. Loves Jesus. But then he writes a book called uh, Axiom, Powerful Leadership Proverbs. Is it my fault he named his book that? It's not my fault he named his book that. He could have named his book whatever he wanted. He could have named his book Great Leadership Ideas I've Learned Throughout the Years. He could have named it that and we wouldn't have expected anything more than just a man telling us his own ideas about leadership. But he chose the word axiom. Do the, does the word axiom mean something? Do you get to make up whatever you mean a word to be when you write a book? Do I get to say, Jesus is hate, Jesus is hate, Jesus is hate all throughout my book? And then you have to come up and ask me and go, what do you mean by hate? Well, in my world, hate means love. Oh, well, then that's cool. No, does, do you get the permission to do No. If you're going to do that, let us know in your introduction. I have changed the definition of the word axiom. It no longer means what it's been meant for in all of the hundreds of years it's been in our dictionaries. It now means just what I think it means, which is just, uh, you know, wishy-washy, trendy, cool ideas you can tweet and put on Twitter. No, that's not what you get to do. You didn't do that. So what does the word axiom mean? An established rule or principle. Oh, now you're talking my language, right? Now you're talking to me as a pastor. Oh, oh established rules, principles. Is there any other established rule and principle other than what Jesus has? Is there any other authority other than what Jesus has? So whatever Jesus says, that's an established rule or principle. Think about that. All that you see in algebra, Jesus established. All that you see in metaphysics, Jesus established. All that you see, right? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, so you're talking my language now, Bill. Okay, I'm going to look through your book. I'm going to look through your book. Hold on. I don't see any scripture. I don't see any understanding of the word of God here. Yet you're a pastor. You wrote a book called axiom and and you don't go into this oh how foolish how foolish now people want to say well that's not what it was meant to do it was meant to be a secular crossover book so that people of every religion could feel comfortable reading it and then gently apply it to their life well then he's a terrible pastor Terrible pastor. You mean there's a man who gets paid to be a pastor of a large church and when he writes about things that God has authority over, he doesn't use the Bible? That's, that's a terrible pastor. Not good. Don't put him up on the pulpit. No, he's a man I need to witness to. What, what does that mean? Doesn't that mean that the CEOs of the world, does this mean all the CEOs of the, of the worlds are foolish? Well, if they don't believe in God, they're foolish. But here's the thing. I don't expect them to know the foundation because their title doesn't assume it. But when he calls himself a pastor, I'm assuming he knows the authority by which he speaks. And he should speak as one who speaks the very words of God. Isn't that what the Bible says? Isn't that what I said, isn't that what the Bible says? Speak as one with the very word of God. Does he get the permission as a pastor to change what he speaks about? Can he ever be seeker sensitive as a speaker? He must be Jesus sensitive. Does that not mean he's mean all the time? No. He, he, just, he can listen to audience feedback. God can use that. I understand. But if anyone speaks, and we can obviously say rights, because that, you know, same thing, you know, communicates. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides. So that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Come on, somebody say amen. 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 So that in all things God may be praised through what? Through who? Jesus. Wow, isn't there a definition I just gave you that there's supposed to be glory going to God through Jesus? That the, that the end result of, of our leadership is for the glory of God through Jesus? Wow, for, so that all things God may be praised through Jesus? 